Hey there jammers, what's jamming? Purple Jam here, and today we're going to be playing Bit Life. Apart from everything we do, it's going to be decided by a surprise me button, so basically it's just a simulation of my real life, because I don't know what I'm doing the majority of the time either. I've even used online dice to decide our gender and random.country to decide where a character will live. Yep, it's pretty amazing, the love you search on the internet, you will find. So our name's Chelsea Murray, we are female from South Korea, my mother is Piang Murray, a 23 year old coast guard who conceived me after a long night at a swingers club. Unfortunately, they don't have a random dot file website yet, so our file is unknown. I have a face like a mother could love, and I have a cat named Moon. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, maybe not so lovely. I thought they meant like a little house cat, not a full on wild cat. This could be a quick life if that cat decides I'm food, whilst mum's away at a swingers club. My cat is dead. Now I kinda feel bad for talking bad about him. I'm a bit concerned where you got those bones from though. Looks like mum was out at her swingers club again, because now I have a new half brother. And of course, he gets all the good looks, while Sam's stuck here with 2%. You broke your mother's fridge whilst you were playing. Why would I even be playing for a fridge? And how do I even have the strength to break a fridge? I'm like 5. I've started primary school, but no, I'm not seeing the name of that school. One of my classmates wants to become friends with me, but it's probably just so she can make herself appear more attractive by hanging about with the ugly kid. My mother wants to take me to St Patrick's Day Festival in Ireland. I love how one of the options is refuse to go. Like an 8 year old just staying themselves, whilst the mum goes to the other side of the world. Like I don't think I'd be given the choice. I might not leave, ever. Again, I don't think you have the choice. First kiss. Now this is something I have a choice in. Well, I hope. And I choose to run away from him. I love how I keep talking about choice, yet I have a surprise me button, choosing everything for me. Oh no, it's the school dance, and we've decided we want to ask out one of the best looking guys in school to it. Look, maybe you should aim a little lower. I know looks aren't everything, but let's be honest, when you're 13, looks are everything. Thank God, the surprise me button decided that school dance weren't for me. That could have been a disaster. This game is a bit of a narcissist, clearly wants me to pick bit life. And of course, the surprise me button just so happened to land in bit life. She can't just leave this alone can she? Not only is he one of the best looking in the class, he's also one of the most popular, and he's intelligent, and he rejected me. Well, don't say I never warned you, he says you're too immature. Right, that has absolutely nothing to do with my 2% looks. At least I don't have to be embarrassed for too long, because I'm starting up our secondary school, unless Kai also joins the same school, that could be a bit awkward. And I don't know why, but in my head I'm reading that as Man's upper limb secondary. Kai Young wants to unfriend you, and I'm that great a friend that, to be honest with you, I don't even know who that is, so maybe I do deserve to be unfriended. Time to let the surprise wee button pick if I learn to drive or if I have to lie on unreliable buses for the rest of my life. Oh no, I actually have to set a test. Wait, there's no surprise me option for this one. Great, I know this. My mum's bought me a car, that's a lovely thing for her to do. She may love going to swingers clubs, but at least I know she loves me too. My friends have joined TikTok, that's right, stay away from it. YouTube better. You have graduated from upper secondary school, what will you do now? Absolutely nothing apparently, I mean I don't have a TikTok, so what else am I going to do in my spare time? Go outside? Poof. So after taking a year off to do absolutely nothing, I'm now going to university to do a computer science degree, which I can't pay for, so I have to ask my mother to pay it, with zero intentions of ever returning the money to her. And she's agreed to pay it, great, so now I'm at university. Wait, what? I'm not even reading that out, you can read it yourself if you want. Why would you? You know what, I don't even want to know. Just pick an option for me, so we can move on. You see the woman driving next to you is breastfeeding whilst driving, what will you do? I don't know why that makes you so angry, granted she shouldn't be doing it whilst driving, but what has it got to do with us? And of course, we try to run her off the road. Accident, you got into a fender bender whilst driving. No, we tried to kill someone and a child for driving unsafe, and when you think about it, it kind of defeats the purpose of why we are angry in the first place, because then we did something even more unsafe. I've graduated from university. This life is going pretty well. Well, apart from trying to run someone off the road, and it looks like we're getting a job. And just like most people who go to university, I'm going to go for a job that has absolutely nothing to do with my degree. This is probably the worst bit about using the surprise me button, because there's probably only one correct answer, so you basically have a 1 in 4 chance of actually getting the job. But somehow, we got it. Oh no, Hong Pong wants me to go to the bathroom with him at a party, and with a name like that, he'll probably destroy me. Whew, that was a close one. At least I'm still intact anyway. I seem to be moving up fast in the film world. I'm already filming Christian Bale. And I've pissed him off. Great. My friends are all joining Instagram. At least with an Instagram account, I guess I could post lots of cool photos on set. Do it for the gram. You know, Instagram doesn't seem so cool now. I'm having problems with my coworker, venting out loud about her personal problems, and I've decided to tell my supervisor. Oh, my supervisor called me a snitch and laughed at me. Your mother is suffering from... Thanks mum, I really needed to know that. I'm making quite a lot of money and I've literally spent none of it, so I've decided to get myself a Brazilian butt lift to improve my looks. It was a success, so now I have a face that looks like a butt and an actual butt. A co-worker started a rumour that you have booze in your desk. Well it isn't really a rumour, if it's true is it? I decided to have a talk with him, he probably couldn't understand me though, because I
Yes, I'm slurring my words so much. I'm going to make a dance video on Instagram, showing off my Brazilian butt, to make myself feel better. It got zero likes. You'd think I'd be able to make a decent video, when my job is literally film likes of Christian Bale. I mean, it can't just be me that people don't like. Can it? While you're on your walk, you encounter a junkie giving you the stink eye. What is the stink eye, and why am I walking in the first place? I don't do exercise. Oh no, I had to pick attack him, didn't I? That's right, spit his neck, that will show him. Oh for Christ's sake, he called the cops at me. Now I'm being arrested, why? Couldn't you have just let me off like a stair morning? Please surprise me button, just cooperate with them, let's not turn this into a bigger deal than it already is. What? I'm facing three years in prison for spitting on someone? Three years? Now I wish I hadn't cooperated. At least I've picked an actual lawyer instead of getting a public defender. Now I'm being asked what I plea and I've picked no contest. I don't even know what that means. Well, I've been sentenced to two years in prison and I've been fired from my job. Well this has all went real wrong, real fast. You know, I was just saying to myself, I just want to do my time and get out of here. It's only two years. I'm not even going to risk trying to escape or anything. And then this pops up. Two rival gangs are engaged in a massive brawl. This is where I die, isn't it? As long as we don't check out, I think we should be good. And of course, we check it out, but somehow, I seem to be fine. I was sure that was the end there. The good news is, we're out of prison. The bad news is, no one is hiring me because I've been in prison. But I have a plan. We're going to emigrate. And to help us decide, we're going to use the online dice I used at the start of the video. Okay, so the dice land on two, which means we're going to emigrate to the second country list, which is Uruguay. And I've been denied. And now the surprises button is the same we're going to enter legally. And we've been caught. Well, this is great. Now I just have to hope I cooperate with the authorities and don't get arrested again. I've been deported back to South Korea, but I think I'm okay. Well, legality wise, life wise, we're still in a mess. As if things couldn't get any worse, I'm depressed, whilst my half brother's now regional manager. He always has to just be better than me everything, doesn't he? Someone has offered me five grand to take a suitcase to Italy. Please don't take the suitcase. Please don't take the suitcase. Whew. I just had such a horrible feeling there. I mean, if you get three years for spitting at someone, what would you get for drug trafficking? And now an off-duty officer is asking if I want to cop a fuel. I may not know what that means, but I do know that is the worst chart line in the history of chart lines. Of course though, it works on me, but at this point my character has such low self-worth that anything will work. Speaking of low self-worth, it looks like we're going to do it without using any protection. We're actually downstairs now. How come the first part of my life went so great and ever since I spat at someone, every single thing in my life has went wrong? If you ever need an advert of why you shouldn't spit, you've got one right here. The itching doesn't bother me though. Apparently that's a future me problem. Your friend has invited you to a special cave for her and if she says yes, I don't blame her. She has absolutely nothing going for her. You told your friend that you already have plans to go to a puzzle library instead. What type of excuse is that? I think I'd rather just done the special K to be honest, than use Zach's excuse. She probably thinks it's some metaphor for doing other drugs, but no, she really means she's going to the library to do a puzzle. Oh no, I have face busters now. I definitely have like HIV or something, haven't I? But of course, it doesn't bother me. Well, I'm 40 years old, I can't get a job, my life is a mess, and I'm potentially about to die because I refuse to get checked by a doctor. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's go big or go home in a casino. <sighs> I've lost all my money. Oh my god, I've got a job again. Which probably means I didn't have to gamble away all my money. But at least I have a job, right? Go away Pinto, I don't need you anymore. I have a job now. Imagine the brass neck. I've given someone a disease, yet you call him up again years later. Yes, and Chelsea agrees with me. You go girl. No, no, I'm attacking someone again. Just as things were going so well. A roundhouse kicked his nipple, but somehow I seem to have got away with it. Oh no, my work's asked me to do 14 more hours of overtime for no extra pay. And I said yes. You know, I think I much preferred it when I didn't work actually. And now I have anxiety. Probably anxiety of working. A gentleman you met at the gym has asked you out on a date. I don't know what I was doing at the gym, but looks like I'm now dating someone. He, um, he immediately broke up with me. More good news, I'm suffering from high blood pressure. Oh no, and my car broke down. That was a present from my mum, 32 years ago. Now I see why I have high blood pressure. You're buried under a pile of blankets, sweating, but feel cold at the same time. You see, this is what happens when you keep refusing to see a doctor. Please just go and see a doctor. Or just search the web instead. I guess that works too. I mean, the web would never lie. I've concluded that I probably have Ebola. Will you go and see a doctor now? Yes, we're seeing a doctor. Okay, there's a 2 in 3 chance we see a doctor here. Just pick one of the two doctors. Oh no, nah. why is there so many screens to get treated? Look, the healthcare system in South Korea is even free. Just get the treatment. Of course, the randomizer picks pass. Imagine getting all that way just to be like, eh, I think I'll pass for now. The doctor's like, are you sure? It's free? Yeah, no, I think I'll pass. Now my work wants me to do another 7 hours unpaid, on top of the 14 extra hours already do unpaid. Are they trying to kill me? 
because it sure seems like it. And then they have the cheek to ask me to decide how they're going to make money in their app. The guy who they aren't even paying themselves. My ex-boyfriend, the guy who immediately broke up with me instead of just going out with me, has now resorted to send me other clips of him grunting. I sure know how to pick them, that's for sure. So what did I do? Send him audio clips back. Maybe that's why I tracked this sort. After 10 years with the company, working 14 hours a week unpaid, and being the one who came up with the genius idea to generate their money, I've been fired. I'm trying to get my mood up because my stats are absolutely terrible and supposing my idea of fun is going for a brisk walk through the ghetto. Now my hairdresser's off me smack, one walk through the ghetto and this happened. And I'm addicted to smack. My mother has verbally abused me for not having a job. How are you even still alive? I'm actually trying. Surprisingly jobs are not exactly shouting out for ex-convict addicts to come and work for them. Look, even a job as a clown has rejected me and by this point I basically am a clown. You've been extremely fatigued lately because you're unable to get a good night's sleep. No wonder, would you be able to sleep if you had this life? And of course, chugging some water is the answer to it. Oh no, now I'm suffering from confusion. This is bad. This is really bad. Finally, you go to see a doctor. And then you just say never mind and walk out. And I'm dead from an overdose and even the games call me stupid. My stepbrother couldn't even be bored to attend the funeral. To be fair, I lived with him my whole life and never bothered to speak to him once. Well, that was eventful. Everything went so well for like the first 20 years of my life and the next 35 were just horrible. But let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this because I'd be right up for doing more. Thanks very much for watching and thank you to my patrons Harry Haywood, Captain Tourette, Ash, Kajel Sinke, Sam Mumble, Sapnix and Zippy Lucky.